Hello students and welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this video, we will be going through some very important questions that could come for the upcoming examinations on the chapter How do organisms reproduce? Let's begin. Fruits are formed from the choices given us stamen, stigma, ovary, ovule. The answer is ovary. Here you can see uh, it clearly shows the ovary develops into the fruit and the ovules develop into seeds. Reproduction is essential for living organisms in order to continue the species generation after generation. Okay. In the figure the parts A, B, C are sequentially. So this is A, this is B and this is C. This has come in the exam before also. A refers, to, you should know that B actually refers to cotyledon and C refers to uh, radical. Uh, so the A is plumule. So it's plumule, B should be cotyledon and C should be uh, radical. The radical will go on to form the roots and the plumule will form the shoot. The ability of a cell to divide into several cells during reproduction in plasmodium is called multiple fission. Here you can see cell will divide multiple times during reproduction. Which of the following diseases is transmitted sexually? Kalazar, jaundice, cholera, syphilis. You should know sexually transmitted diseases are syphilis, gonorrhea, and also uh, AIDS. Oh, AIDS is a condition caused by HIV. IUCD. Actually, you should know what is IUCD stands for. It's intrauterine contraceptive. Right. So once you, if you know the full form, then you should know that it is actually referring to contraception. Okay. For example, over here, this is an IOD device. Okay. T-shape, copper T. There's an inserted over here. Okay. Blocking the passage of eggs and also the passage of sperm from meeting the eggs, both sides. Which of the following is not the function of testis at puberty? Formation of germ cells, secretion of testosterone, development of placenta, secretion of estrogen. So before going for the choices itself, we can uh, very well eliminate development of placenta because that happens in females and females do not have testis. Same goes with secretion of estrogen. Okay, testis secretes testosterone. So is there in the name itself. So testosterone, see estrogen is secreted by the ovaries. So we can rule this three and four out. And yes, formation of germ cell, it is responsible for formation of the sperm. So formation of germ cells and secretion of testosterone, one and two. Is what testis does. But uh, in this case, we are asked which among the following is not the function of testis. So read the question properly, not the function. The first two are the function of testis, but we are asked for uh, not the function. Then in that case, it will the choice will be three and four. In Spirogara, asexual reproduction takes place by breaking up of filaments into smaller bits, like this. Which of the following is a contraceptive? All of this, whether it is copper tea, condom or a diaphragm, all of these uh, contribute are different forms of contraceptions. The correct sequence of organs in the male reproductive system for transport of sperms is testis was deferens urethra. Have a look at this. This should help you. Testis, epididymis, vas deferens, 
ejaculatory duct and it goes through the urethra. So urethra is common to the urinary system as well as the ejaculatory, ejaculatory system or the male reproductive system as well. Okay. So testis, epididymis, was, but here we are given only three of them. So that um, will eliminate the ones in between. So testis, vas deferens, and urethra. Okay. AIDS is a deadly disease which is caused by a virus. This you should know. Offspring formed by asexual method of reproduction have greater similarity among themselves because the um, asexual we'll have a look at the choices first. Asexual reproduction involves only one parent. Correct. Asexual reproduction does not involve uh, gametes. True because you don't have sex gametes, male and female. Just uh, one mother cells divides into uh, two daughter cells. Asexual reproduction occurs before sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction occurs after sexual reproduction. So we rule the three and four out. We are clearly said uh, offspring formed by asexual method of reproduction have greater similarity among themselves because of the first two reasons. That's the answer. The correct sequence of reproductive stages seen in flowering plants is first comes gametes. You have male and female gametes. Once the male and female uh, gametes fuse, that is fertilization takes place, zygote is formed. Zygote multiplies Okay, that zygote is one cell. So one cell undergoes division. Um, uh, uh, one cell undergoes division multiple times, and you get many cells. That cells form an or uh, organized mass called as an embryo. An embryo then later on ends up developing the seedling. Which among the following diseases is not sexually transmitted? Syphilis is caused by sexual transmission, HIV AIDS is sexually and uh, gonorrhea is also sexual. So the one odd one out here is hepatitis. A small portion of oviducts of a woman is removed by surgical operation and the cut ends are ligated. This is tubectomy. Ligated means joined together. If you have a look at this, it shows part of the fallopian tubes at both ends are cut and they are stitched back. Okay, so what happens is that disrupts the uh, clear pathway wherein the egg can come forward or the uh, sperm can go to reach the because you have to understand sperm uh, and the meeting of sperm and egg has to happen right here in the fallopian tube that's when fertilization takes place so if you block that passage then sperm can't meet the egg and you prevent pregnancy the ratio of number of chromosomes in human zygote and a human sperm is 2 is to 1 we'll see why is the answer the number of chromosomes in a human sperm is always half the number of chromosomes in a zygote. Remember, a zygote is formed by a fusion of a sperm as well as egg. Sperm contains a one half uh, or the haploid gamete, and uh, that means one set of chromosomes coming from the mother, and the sperm contains one set of chromosomes coming from the father. And that is why this is what we say: the number of chromosomes in a human sperm is half the number of chromosomes in a zygote. So in case of humans, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and 23 come from father, 23 come from mother. Okay, In a zygote, there are totally 46. But in a sperm, there is 23 and in uh, egg, there is 23. The image shows the structure of a flower. Which process will likely be disturbed or not occur if the labeled part is removed from the flower? So it's referring to the ovary, and ovary is responsible for the formation of fruit. So 
formation of fruit will not take place. That's also. And the same diagram that you had seen earlier, ovary is responsible for formation of fruit. So if the ovary is removed, you will not have a fruit. Which of the following statements are true for flowers? Uh, we uh, the choices given are flowers are always bisexual. They are sexual reproductive organs. They are produced in all group of plants. After fertilization, they give rise to fruits. So we know that flowers need not be bisexual. They can be unisexual also. They are sexual reproductive organs. True. They are produced in all group of plants. No, all plants do not produce flowers. You should know that. After fertilization, do they give rise to fruits? Yes, they do. So that means uh, 2 and 4. Uh, that would be D as our choice. Fertilization occurs in human female when the sperm and ovum reach simultaneously at that should be the fallopian tube. Here you go. If you look at the diagram, this is the ovary, this is the fallopian tube, the egg is released and absorbed by the or sucked in by the fallopian tube <coughs> and here it says fertilization. Where is the fertilization taking place? In the fallopian tube and not in the uterus, vag vagina or cervix. Okay, Just remember that. So how do uh, I mean which uh, among the following statements are true for unisexual flowers? First one it says they possess both stamen and pistil. Second one uh, they possess either stamen and pistil or pistil. They exhibit cross pollination. Unisexual flowers possessing only stamens cannot produce fruits. In case of unisexual flowers, they either have stamen or pistil. So second statement is true. They have to exhibit cross pollination because uh, the same flower does not have stamen and pistil. Unisexual flowers possessing only stamens cannot produce fruits. Yes, because they need the female part as well, which they do not have. So in this case, 2, 3 and 4 is correct. And that is the B would be our correct choice. So with this, we complete uh, this uh, short uh, questionnaire. Uh, MCQ on how do organisms reproduce. If you like watching this video, hit the like button. Please share this with your friends as well as classmates. They could also benefit like you have. And do not forget to subscribe. If you have a subscribe already, great. Click on the bell icon as well. So you get notifications of any new videos that are uploaded. Thanks for watching and keep watching for more such videos. Thank you.